Sharing her passion for yoga and a healthy lifestyle with the community is nothing new for the Across the Table guest we are introducing you to today. Kendra Brower has been practicing yoga since her high school days and her vision to have a place to teach and practice led her to opening Kosha Yoga School. Her journey with yoga and healing didn't stop there. We sat down with her at Wine Time on Main to learn more about her and how her life took a turn after being diagnosed with breast cancer. But as you'll see, her positive attitude and bright personality is still shining. Hi, Kendra. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Hi. Great to be with you. Yeah, we're having a little virtual happy hour. Cheers. Yes, cheers. This is what happy hour looks like when we're social distancing. But okay, like, that's all right. Yeah. First, Kendra, I just want to start by talking about how you started your journey. Obviously, yoga is something that is super important to you with owning a yoga studio. So let's just start by talking about how you got to where you are. Yeah. Um, so I started practicing yoga when I was in high school. Um, one of my teachers just uh, gave us Fridays off when we had a basketball game or a track meet or something. We didn't have to work out. And so we all went up to the wrestling room and got to do uh, old school yoga VHS. Do you know what those are? Yes, I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so we got to do we got to do some yoga and we got to do some like mindful mindfulness and like vision work. Mm -hmm. um, you know, of course, I didn't really love it when I was like sixteen, uh, but it kind of took shape as I got older and was looking for, you know, something to be passionate about um, in, in my personal life, but then uh, transforming it into, into what I do, what I do. So obviously yoga is one of your hobbies, but it's, it's more than that. It's not like you just do this only because it's fun and it's maybe your workout, but it brings you more than just that. Tell me a little bit about that side of it. Yeah, for sure. So yoga is more than just the work that you do on your mat. Um, yoga really is a lifestyle. Um, there's eight limbs. There's a lot more to just, uh, you know, what we call yoga. Typically, what we think of as a yoga class is just one of the branches. Um, and so what I'm passionate about is helping people understand that. Um, and, and the physical practice is usually how people get involved in the first place. But uh, just understanding there's more to it. And, and we're practicing those things in our day-to-day. -day. We maybe just don't label them as yoga. Breathing, mindfulness, focus, concentration, meditation. You know, there's lots of outlets for those things. Uh, and when you put them all together, that really is what yoga is about. And so giving people those tools, knowing that it doesn't have to just be a bunch of poses on a mat in a class at a studio, uh, but it can be other things that you can practice breathing when you're frustrated or when you're stuck at home for weeks upon end and you don't know when that's going to be over um and and choosing a focus point and so there's more than just poses that um i feel like i'm equipped to help people learn about and practice yeah so i want to talk a little bit about your journey right now you're currently going through chemo and i i honestly don't even know how to express the amount of strength and hope and keeping you in my prayers that I have. I currently have a mom who just got done going through chemo, so I know the impact that this has on someone's life. And it's tough. It's really tough. And I just yeah. I just want to share a little bit about how you're doing and how you're staying so positive. Um, so I'm, I'm almost finished with uh, chemotherapy. Uh, I have breast cancer. And the thing that has come about with this, like I'm, I'm doing pretty well, like, you know, the week after is pretty icky and I definitely don't feel like I have, uh, the, the strength and the, and the endurance and those kind of things that I'm used to that have been a part of my life up to this point. So, um, taking that on is challenging, just knowing that I don't have all, all of that that I used to, but know that, I can get it back. Um, but I would say that the thing that is the most reassuring and the most just amazing about this whole journey so far is the people that have showed up for me. The people that 
send food or send money or support the studio or um, are willing to take care of my kids. Granted, we're all kind of stuck at home right now. Uh, it makes our situation a little bit different uh, because I'm at such high risk. Uh, but the community of people that I know, uh, of people that I maybe don't know, but have watched some of my posts or followed along with my journey, um, that's that's kind of what yoga is too. It's about building community and knowing that you have people there for you no matter what you're going through. So I want to get to know a little bit more about you. If you were to write an autobiography, what would you call it? I, I would call it Why Not? Um, because we all have choices. We all have things that we can do, we can want to do. But life isn't about sitting around and waiting for stuff to be like the perfect time or the perfect opportunity. I think that if we're interested in something, me personally, if it's something that I want to do or I'm passionate about it or I see a way, uh, I want to do it and say, why not? Right. One right. life. Yeah. So I wanna, tell me a little bit more about what you like to do in your free time. Like, what does the perfect day look like for you? It doesn't have to be anything real extravagant. Um, I enjoy teaching yoga classes. Um, I enjoy, I'm a massage therapist as well. Uh, so a couple yoga classes, a couple massages, get to see some of my people. Yeah. Um, and then some downtime, maybe I get a massage or go hang out at the sauna house or go float. Um, those kind of self-care things. Uh, I would say definitely a piece of the perfect day would be that I get to cook. I love the cooking and then somebody else would clean it up for me. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that is not my jam. <laughs> I love that. That is a great, great philosophy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kendra, for joining me here today. Yes. Cheers to kicking cancer's butt. Yes. In support of the nation's efforts to stop the spread of COVID-19, Wine Time on Main has changed its business hours. They are now open from 4 p.m. until 8 p.m. Tuesdays through Sunday. However, they are only allowing up to eight customers to be seated at a time to maintain social distancing. You'll find them in downtown Sioux Falls at 330 South Main Avenue in the Washington Square building across the street from the Washington Pavilion. Wine Time on Main has also posted a complete list of wines available for off sales on their website at winetimeonmain.com. Just give them a call at 937-9595 if you have any questions.